I'm really sweaty. I need your help changing my clothes. What? I've never been good with women, but to be in a situation like this with such a beautiful woman? The day before. Hey, Takumi. You still look as pale as ever. What's with you all of a sudden? Why don't you come to a singles meetup with me today? You're free this afternoon, right? Why me? I'm trying to give you a chance to get involved with girls and brighten up your sad face. My life is none of your business. I'd never go to a singles meetup. Are you sure? I'm trying to help you and you say things like that to me? Don't you want to make your college life a little bit rosier? <sighs> I know it sounds effeminate, but there's a woman I haven't been able to forget for a long time. There's probably no one else I'd be able to think romantically about. I can't go out with that person now. So maybe I should just enjoy myself here and now. Okay, I'll come with you. Nice! That's how I, Takumi Bono, a junior in college, took the first step towards a happier college life. But... I'm not used to situations like this. Maybe I shouldn't have come. The woman I'm supposed to be paired with didn't even show up. Hey, by the way, where's the other woman? Oh, she's running a little late, but she'll be here soon. Sorry I'm late. I didn't mean to keep you waiting. Uh, the woman who showed up to the party and sat opposite me was Madoka Aoyama, a classmate of mine from high school. She was the most popular girl in our class. Huh? You're Takumi Bono, aren't you? Yeah, and you're Monica Aoyama. Yeah. Do you remember me? We used to be in the same class, right? Yeah, but I wasn't the type to stand out much. I think I hardly ever spoke to you. I remember you well. Huh? I'm so happy! She was the woman I'd never been able to forget, and she was still as beautiful as I remembered her. But I couldn't make the most of the opportunity, and our time together passed in an instant. You're out! Drink! I can't do it! I can't drink anymore! I can't keep up with these people. Monica looks like she's drunk too much. She probably can't keep up with these people as much as I can't. Maybe she's not good at meetups. You've been looking at me for so long. Are you even enjoying this party? Huh? I'm not having fun at all. Hey, do you want to get out of here together? What? Let's get out of here. I'll leave first and you catch up with me. H hey, Monica, wait! I didn't want to leave her alone as she stumbled away, so I chased after her. Monica? Where are you? Monica? Monica? Are you alright? It's dangerous sleeping in a place like this. I can't walk anymore. Let me take you home. Where do you live? <laughs> Since there was no end to our situation in sight, I decided to pick her up on my back and walk with her. Uh, cab. I can stop a cab, but it's useless if you don't tell me your home address. I can tell you. I managed to get her back home and into her room. I'll leave you here, but please sleep properly in your bedroom. No, I can't walk. Carry me inside. I guess I have to. Please don't get mad at me later for going into your room. Okay. <laughs> I won't get angry. I won't get angry. So, this is how she becomes when she gets drunk. Here, please drink some water. Thanks. I'm going home, so don't do anything stupid. Please go to bed soon. What? You've always been very kind. I'd help anyone if they fell down in front of me. I'm so touched. I want to see you again. Let's exchange contact info. You can't ask me that. She was drunk, so I didn't think she'd ever get in contact with me. I lightheartedly gave her my contact info and left her apartment. Whew, I'm tired. 
I wonder if she gets involved with people when she drinks like that. I'm worried about people taking advantage of her when she's drunk. My heart was confused and a little disillusioned. I was worried about Monica. She unexpectedly called me the next day. Hey, Monica, what's up? I'm so surprised. I didn't expect you to call me. I'm sorry for calling you so suddenly. I should really be apologizing to you in person, so I'm sorry about calling you on the phone. Um, I did something bad yesterday, didn't I? I remember some parts of it, but I feel like I probably caused you a lot of trouble, so I'm sorry. You drank a lot. Are you feeling okay? I had a bit of a hangover this morning, but I feel fine now. I'm glad to hear that, but you should stop drinking that heavily. You fell asleep by the side of the road. It was very dangerous. I didn't know I did that. I'm so sorry. I had a bad day and I drank too much. Did something bad happen? I'm worried about you. Oh, I'm sorry. It's nothing serious. See you later. Monica said something that made me worry and hung up the phone. Then again, does that mean there will be a next time? I wonder what made her have a bad day. Maybe I should ask her, but I don't want to be too pushy. I put off the urge to call Monica for two weeks. Uh, uh, who's this so early in the morning? Hello? Oh, sorry for calling you so early. Oh, M Monica! Something in your voice doesn't sound right. I've had a high fever since last night and can't move. I've been worried about my condition all night and I didn't know what to do. Calling you was the only thing that came to mind. Me? I understand. I'll be right there. Please wait for me. I never thought I'd be reunited with Monica. I figured I'd never see her again. I ran out of the house, feeling confused between inappropriate joy and worrying about her. You came all the way here and bought me all kind of things. Thanks for going to the trouble. It was nothing. I didn't have any lectures today, so I was free. What's your temperature? 100 degrees. I'll take you to the hospital. I want to wait a bit more before I go. In that case, I bought some medicine for you, and I'll make you something to eat. Is there anything specific you want? Don't be so formal with me. We're the same age. Oh, no, it's just that I haven't seen you in a while, and I'm still a bit nervous around you. If it bothers you, I'll be more casual. Oh, shall I make you some porridge then? Can you eat now? That sounds great. I went to her kitchen and began making her porridge. Takami, I have a favor to ask you. What is it? Can you help me eat it? I'm still having a hard time moving. Oh, okay, but do you think it's okay for me to do that? I fed Monica the porridge. Nom. I can't believe the most popular girl in high school and the girl of my dreams is sitting so vulnerably in front of me. I can't believe it, but I'm happy. You have a good appetite, so I'm sure you'll get better soon. You should take your medicine and lie down when you finish eating. Okay. Can I ask you one more thing? Sure, anything you want. Well, I'm really sweaty. I need your help changing my clothes. What? Help you change clothes? There's no way I can help you do that. Don't, don't get the wrong idea. I just want you to get me a change of clothes from the next room. What? Is it like just pajamas though? Yeah, just pajamas are fine. They're in the bottom drawer of the closet in the next room. There just might be something in there that I don't want you to see. Make sure you close your eyes when you open the drawer. Uh. Okay. I'm not looking! These must be pajamas, right? I can't figure out what I'm touching. I brought what felt like pajamas to Monica with my eyes closed, and was relieved to find out I hadn't made a mistake. Hey, Takami, why don't you stay over today? What? I'm feeling a little better now, but I'll sleep better if someone is with me, you know? Is it okay if it's me? It's okay. 
After she said that, she fell asleep. I spent the night next to her, watching her sleeping face. The next morning. I'm sorry I forced you to do so many things. Thank you, Takami. I feel so much better now. I'm glad I could be of help. Nothing's changed since our high school days. Do you honestly remember me from high school? Of course. The last time I spoke to you was when I forgot my textbook. That's right! I happened to be sitting next to you, and I shared my textbook with you. Everyone called you mother in high school, didn't they? When I see someone in trouble, I can't look away. I take care of them, even if it may be meddlesome. I know. I watched you for a long time. Hmm? You were watching me? When I was in high school, the girls around me were attracted to gorgeous and dynamic boys. For some reason, though, I was attracted to boys who didn't stand out and spent their time in the shadows. You were always a boy of few words, but when the time came, you never hesitated to help someone. You're a kind person. Maybe that's why I was attracted to you. Attracted to me? Does that mean... My parents were very strict. They told me not to get involved with others and to take care of myself. I had an image of you being able to do anything. You didn't flirt with me, but you shared your textbooks with me. That made me happy. I thought of you as a gentle fireplace that warmed my heart. That's why I thought of you when I was sick with a fever. You were the person I wanted to see the most. I wanted you to take care of me. I've always loved you. What? No, that can't be true. You were the most popular girl in our class. I graduated high school without telling you how I felt, but I've liked you for a long time. None of my close classmates knew your contact info, so I couldn't find you when we left high school. It must have been fate that brought us together again. I don't want to miss this chance. Hey, don't you like me? Of course I do! You're the girl of my dreams! I've had a crush on you since high school! I never forgot you! If someone like you, who was the most popular girl in school, suddenly told me she liked me, I'd have been so nervous! Go out with me! If it's okay with you, it was like a dream come true. I felt like I was soaring through the heavens. There's something that's been bothering me. You said you had a bad day and got drunk, right? What happened? My parents decided on an arranged marriage for me without my permission. An arranged marriage? You're still a college student. That's a bit pushy, isn't it? My job hunting isn't going well, so my parents got impatient and decided to find a man for me to marry behind my back. I still wanted to get a job and be independent, and an arranged marriage was not my cup of tea. My plan was to find a boyfriend and introduce him to my parents so that I could turn down their idea. That's why I went to the singles meetup. Then I was surprised because the person I've always liked suddenly appeared in front of me. I wanted to approach you, but I hadn't seen you for a few years and I was embarrassed. I thought a few drinks and a good mood would make me more appealing, but I was so distracted by my parents that I drank too much. Then introduce me to your parents. I don't want to lose you to an arranged marriage. Are you sure you want me to introduce you to my parents? I'll tell you the truth. I chased after you when you were drunk and took you to your apartment so you could see how nice I am. That's how much I like you. I'm sure it'll be fine if you introduce me to your parents. Thank you. I'm really glad to see you again. Me too! When I went to see Monica's parents and we explained to them that we were in a serious relationship, they pretended that they'd never arranged another marriage for her. Monica is now focusing on her job hunting. Hey, Takumi, I can't take off my necklace. What should I do? Oh no, I'm gonna be late for the interview. I fell asleep with this necklace on yesterday. I'll get it off for you. Monica's image changed in my head from a high schooler to a spoiled brat. Got it. I'm always bothering you, aren't I? Do you think I'm annoying? Why are you so anxious? How can I not be happy that the person I love relies on me? The most important thing to remember is that you should never be afraid to ask for help from someone you love. You should just focus on your job hunting. I already have a job, so it's my turn to support you now. Thanks. I'm your mother, too, so you can count on me. <laughs> Great, I'm off then. 
I'm living a great life with the girl of my dreams, whom I met again after so many years. Now, I'm trying to keep Monica, the spoiled brat, <laughs> as happy as I can.